hey guys everyone welcome back to my channel so guys i'm doing something different like literally i just like had to do this on my channel because i got a lot of um comment on my previous video that i talked about what are the questions to ask on the first date so literally i just want to talk about this because this is quite important and yeah so i'll be talking about red flags in a relationship what are those red flags you need to observe in a in a, in a long time relationship or in a new relationship so if it's, this is what you're interested in just sit back and enjoy the rest of this video So my new to subscribers and welcome back to this channel welcome to dora space welcome to my to my to my channel so literally i just want to talk about this because this is really really important like literally it's very very important so i'm talking about four red flags in a relationship like this red flag you need to observe this in if you're in a very long-term relationship or starting up a relationship new this this is really important to look out for number one is lack of communication guys i cannot emphasize this enough because communication is the foundation to an ld relationship like communication if your partner does not communicate well let's assume you're having um issues and you tell not to communicate 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 that well please look out look out for that in the in a relationship that is automatic automatically and a red flag like it is a red flag so because i can i say that communication is like the foundation to every relationship so the next one on my list is lack of support hear me guys don't come for me i'm not talking about financial support at some time we need some financial support financial aid and all of that but i'm talking about a partner that that supports your dreams your goals your ambitions like i say your partner should be your biggest cheerleader should be your number one's biggest fan to be your number one biggest fan because if a partner belittle you or talk down about your sources please please mm. i will not say more than that literally i will not say more than that because no partner should belittle his or her own partner talk down on that partner make that partner feel it's not worth it it is not worth it at all so your partner should be your biggest cheerleader should be your number one fan someone that will support you in every step of the way so if your partner lacks support that is automatically a red flag you can't tell me you will change in marriage because marriage is a long time something because you are you are forever with this person for better for worse so you need to understand that marriage is a very very deep relationship you can you can you cannot add you can hardly come out from that from that it's like hardly i can't say you cannot but you can hardly because marriage is for better for worse the next one on my list is hmm, emotional or physical abuse hmm. i cannot emphasize that enough guys i cannot no partner has the right to emotionally emotionally physically abuse you emotion this is i'm talking about this emotional and physical abuse emotions like this abuse can come in different form it can come in rubber physical and emotional rubber in the sense that it gives you tells you you are not good enough you are useless you are not worth it you cannot you can it it belittles you your self-esteem it's belittle your self-esteem no partner has the right to talk down against your self-esteem physical please if it slap you today it's going to be you're going to be a punchy bag in the future you can't tell me you're going to change him you cannot you can't change an abusive person you cannot if he physically abuse you today then in the future he will physically abuse you if you is slapping you today he will give you a punch in the future then emotionally it's play with your self-esteem it make you feel that yeah the verbal and emotional comes is is like they are they are working together they're working like together no partner should emotionally or physical abuse you and the last one 
which is <laughs> guys this one is a how do i how do i how do i put this a controlling partner like i'm saying this thing like we like we experience this in our relationship now you can't tell me you don't express some people experience this in their relation and it's hard for them to come outside from that relationship like it's literally hard a partner that tells you what to do who to be with how to dress like like a controlling partner that he does not even trust you there's no trust in that relationship relationship should be built on trust should be built on love there should be a mutual understanding between two parties a partner that tells you what to do what to who you should be with you are telling me okay are we are we are we take care of it like it will change ah don't worry, it will change. Don't worry, it will change. He's just acting like this because we are in a in a relationship. That ah, guys, this is automatically a red flag. Like it is a red flag. It is a red flag. You cannot change him. A controlling partner is a controlling partner. You cannot change that fact. You cannot change that fact. So when you see this sign in a relationship, guys, please. If you see this sign, it is automatically a red flag. Like it is automatically a red flag. It is glaring to your face. So if you want to video to this point, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell down below. Please leave your comments. What are all those red flags? Other red flag. Um, how do I put it? Other things that <laughs> that should be considered as a red flag in a relationship. Please leave it, leave it down in the comment section and we'll talk about this. Like, literally, guy, I just want to go into this. I don't know why. I'm so excited starting this relationship talk and all of that. Though I'm not a relationship expert. Please don't come for me. So, I made your favorite get dirty and yeah, with the vibes, with the ginger, with the swag. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, I'm just coming back from work and I decided to like make this video as quick as possible. So, Thank you very much and please leave your comments. I really, really appreciate it so much. Thank you very much and bye guys.